Leopard has the ideal physiology for tree climbing. They are powerfully built in their shoulders and forelimbs, allowing them to pull themselves up steep tree trunks. They have a low center of gravity and incredibly high power to weight ratio. They have protractile claws allowing them to grip bark. Their mobile backbone allows them to twist and turn and balance themselves. When you see leopard climb you will be struck by how effortless they make it seem. Their necks, shoulders and jaws are very strong when hoisting prey high into the branches of a tree. They can balance on branches narrower than their paws. On the other hand, lions are not fantastic tree climbers. They are clumsy and slow in terms of climbing. Not unusually, they seem half panicked not knowing how to proceed up or down, trying different options before they find a way up or down. Lion is able to climb trees but it is limited to the lower branches. A lion is large and bulky, gravity gives these cats a much harder time. The lion's tree climbing skills contrast a lot to the skills of a leopard. Leopards move around, even run and jump in the trees like it was plain ground. But, in terms of hunting and fighting, the lion will be the winner. The leopard comes under the smallest cat family of genus panther. They are mostly found in the African regions. They are short due to their short legs, but their body length is much bigger. The male leopard can weigh up to 70 kg. They have powerful jaw muscles, which enables them to attack other animals with precision. They can climb trees and often take their prey, which is quite heavy, up to the trees to protect it from other predators. Lions are the apex predator and lioness can weigh 120 kg. The average top speed of the leopard is apparently 88 km per hour or 55 miles per hour. The average top speed of the lion is apparently 81 km per hour or 51 miles per hour. So, in a running battle, the leopard can escape from the lion. But, if the leopard unluckily caught, then the lion will be the winner. It is because, lion is larger, heavier and taller than male leopard. Plus lion's canine teeth are larger than leopard. like other big cats cheetahs or super carnivores. But, they have a limited range of prey, probably the narrowest range of all big cats. They are probably not as strong and powerful as lions are, cheetahs are less than half the size of an adult tiger. That is why cheetahs mainly prey on small to medium-sized prey instead of large animals. They will prefer to hunt young animals weighing no more than 23 to 56 kg. Cheetahs hunt small to medium animals such as gazelles, antelope, impalas, and jackals. Jackals are medium-sized members of the canine family. Jackals are opportunistic omnivores. They eat mostly a carnivorous diet and have adapted to hunting small mammals, reptiles and birds. 
Being opportunistic feeders, they eat whatever is available. Jackals generally weigh between 6 to 14 kilograms, signifies proper prey for the cheetah. Jackals top speed 40 miles per hour, but they usually run only 10 miles per hour for longer periods of time. This indicates that it is difficult for Jackal to escape from the cheetah's chase. It's because, cheetahs are known to be the fastest land animal in the world, reaching speeds of up to 60 miles per hour in a few seconds flat. Despite this speed, it is short burst, meaning their hunting tactics must be spot on to ensure capturing prey. The stalk is what they're good at. They crouch and lie in wait until the prey has averted their eyes, at which time the cheetah will continue moving forward slowly. While cheetahs are lean, to give them speed, they aren't especially strong. When a cheetah kills its prey, it attempts to subdue its food by latching on to the throat and suffocating the animal. Antelopes have extremely developed senses which help them detect predators while they still have time to escape. They are quick runners, some of them can reach up to 43 miles per hour. However, their running speed is still inferior to the cheetah. The antelope can never outrun the cheetah, but it can survive the chase if it twists and turns sharply at the last minute. The predators turned out to be significantly faster and more powerful than their prey. However, at lower speeds they were unable to match antelope for maneuverability, allowing these animals a chance of escape. As we know almost all predatory cats can be very fast and strong, but they are weak in terms of stamina. On the other hand, prey such as zebras and antelope ran not as fast as predators, but stronger in terms of stamina. If a cheetah does not catch its prey during the first burst of speed, it will give up and rest for another try. However, if the prey has been caught, it would be difficult for them to escape. Although it will seem that they will be free, because their efforts to escape are supported by strong stamina. In the end, they will lose too. This is because predators such as the cheetah will bite the neck or throat which is the vital point of their prey. So, the stamina of their prey would be lost along with the defeat.
please like this video and subscribe to BV Animal Documentary if you want more videos like this. Thanks for watching.